welcome to the quivering. <laughs> oh, oh my. <laughs> I'll make you quiver. This is gonna be scary. Into anticipation. Ooh, alternate software. <laughs> How alternative? Developed by Chari B. Dis. Chari B. What? Chari B. What? B. Dis! <laughs> he B. Dis! The Quivering! Richard Petrie sounds familiar. Oh, wow, Zoe Dolphin, that's a name. James Daniel. If anything's wrong, it's this three guy's fault. <laughs> Mark Hardestry. Okay. Cemetery, sure. in a little village a very little village and then this dude's just standing here uh mate what you doing what you doing mate oh <laughs> too close too close too, too close Damn. way too close <laughs> oh okay oh my dear puppy has ear scratches and then he just oh kind of ran God. downstairs I'm getting Escape from Horrorland vibes straight away. Okay, so we're starting a new game. Elvis, go, come home. Elvis, come home, okay. This is doing the panning world thing, okay. Elvis, come home on this door as well. Ah, oh, okay, I'm gonna be at the door. That's why he ran away. Uh, Let me go see what he wants. Ooh, bins. What's going here? The only place that seems to have lights in the window. Oh, look, look! That's nice, a little bit of animation behind the windows. This is a pub by the look of it, alright, let's go on in. Oh, um, hi. Uh... What the? Oh, it's just... It's... I was like, what's going on here with the kilt? Because that does not look like the normal, um, you know, thing that, that hangs off the uh, kilt. But uh, I think it's just a weird angle. Okay, so we've got this man playing darts. These two... This... Wait. The shape of this chest makes this look like a, a man with boobs, but okay. There's a star in the corner. These people are just staring at me. These people are just staring. Oh, I can go up to the Scottish dude. Or it's taking us to her. Hi. Hi. Um, h hello? Does anyone want to talk to me? Lady? No, she's really bored about what's going on. Let's go towards the jukebox. Ooh, okay, so that I can go down there. I want to go to the jukebox, though. You know, the jukebox looks a bit rickety-rackety. Hey, buddy. Oh, we can talk. Spi Hi, Billy. Oh, no, no, no. You don't get a case. These belong what? to someone very special. Oh. Okay. Apparently, stop talking. We don't have anything else to say. Billy? Oh, no, no, no. You don't get a case. These belong to someone very special. Cool. Thanks, Billy. So, do we know why or how we got to this town? No. We don't even know who we are. Oh, hey! Um... Oh, you're a bricker! Hello, vicar! Peace be with you, my child. Sweet. After are that dresses... Are you a real vicar? Or just a guy who enjoys wearing dresses? Actually, both. Oh! Uh, 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 okay. So, do you believe in God? <laughs> 
Oh, definitely. He, he is real. I, I read it in a book, yes. What the... F <laughs> okay. Okay. It's like, um... So if time and space can mutually exist within an ever-expanding universe, a fact which chaos theory attributes to outer dimensions pushing in on themselves over and above the constraints of a tailored heaven and earth, Huh? What room is there in any such equation for the concept of a supreme entity? Mm, you're just yanking my chain now. <laughs> Damn right. Damn right. I bet you've seen some pretty scary stuff since you took over the parish. Only in my wife's underwear, but... <laughs> oh! Oh my God! Uh, yeah, Jesus you and I Christ, don't know each other nearly well enough to discuss that one. <laughs> Fuck a duck! I suppose this is a fairly normal night around here. Well, some of the chaps did fatally injure a stranger. They blamed for the sudden satanic forces brooding what? over our darkened turrets. Uh, and, of course, the jukebox is broken, but otherwise, yes, business as usual. Wait, 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 wait. The thing that you were more, um, uh, what's that called? Upset by was the jukebox was broken. Not the fact that some blokes killed somebody. Jesus. Yamaha! Okay, cool. I think oh, we, we can try going down here. Vicar, I'm not saying goodbye because you're weird. Oh. oh, no. Not for the likes of you. Oh! Well, interesting voice choice there. Do you, do you guys want to talk? Uh, no. Okay. Uh. Go over here. Oh, hey, hey. Hi. So evening, all. Evening. So we, we can't talk to you about the satanic ritual that we just heard about? Okay, sure. That's a powered keyboard, a Yamaha. Yeah, so we talked to the vicar. Uh, the vicar said that he, you know, he likes to wear dresses, which I'm guessing he just means his vicar dress. But uh, the only thing that he's seen scary around here is the contents of his, of his wife's underpants. And, uh, or knickers, I think it was, not... But, uh, uh, and uh, that was the other thing that uh, yeah the vicar also said that uh, someone had been uh, killed by some guys who thought that um, that they, they were part of a satanic okay sure so there's just a, a devil in the bed so there's a cult there's oh my god your monitor is too bright is on the wall Okay. The game wants to shame us into like that. the contrast test. This is just written on a random alleyway wall. Okay. I mean, it's just. Okay. And we have a house with a pentagram on it, and it's interesting that these background scenes can be videos. It's and you can still pan around them. Mm. It is actually quite clever. Yeah. Yeah, it's impressive. <laughs> oh. oh, what the hell was that? Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. Whee! I don't know about you guys, but I'm quivering. I figured you would be. Okay, we can go to the woods or we can go to the swamp. Hello, little bird. Oh, I can I can talk to you. Uncle Frankenstein. You know, it's quite hurtful. I'm so readily recognized in this genetic mutation. I received your distress call. I knew what? it was you. Oh, the same. I'm a raven here. A reaction would be nice. You said we got a submission. Yes, yes, yes. But you've still got time for the a... The tone of this game is all, is all over the place. Yeah. Surely it can't be you before we set up and blast the bad guys. Okay, Jeez, okay. we're going to blast, blast oh the bad guys. Oh my god, no. What cruel transformation has afflicted my beloved uncle? Woeful, but better. Now do we tool up and cruise for action, or am I on the next bus home? Patience, boy. You want to know why I sent for you, don't you? 
Yeah, okay. So we're gonna watch a film with our Uncle Raven? Five, four, three, two, fun! I'm telling you anyway, just a few hours ago I was conducting a top secret experiment. Sweet. You saw this, Hank. It ain't unusual. All the same, this was a real hum dinner. That actually is unusual. My life's time's work. At last the time is nigh. Go, go to my trusty, if disconcertingly walky assistant. Oh, whoa! Um, um them some lips. You may prepare the ghoul cube. The ghoul cube? Ghoul cube. It's a cube that contains ghouls, or will do. Evident, my. See you catch the ghouls in the cube, so it's outside the cube. There is no ghoul ghouls, cube. and we enjoy a ghoul-free society with ghouls strictly cube-bound, confined to their cube and feeling to wander <laughs> beyond all cuboid parameters. Sorry, I just love that that, like, he's like, I'm just gonna, yeah. Nothing mm -hmm. but trouble. Fiddle all these knobs. Just backwards now, and forwards, that'll do it. in the name of science, <laughs> we shall ensnare evil in its multifarious it forms, do a good just knob rendering fiddle. it useless yeah. against the world. But I don't have a knob to fiddle. <laughs> Woo! Um. Oh, um, shit! That was a bad idea. It's a big demon. Yeah. That cat wheel has turned into something very different. The ghouls started pouring into the cube from their evil dimension. Then things started to go wrong. Oh You're no! Not used to that, yeah? This is what happens when you fire editors to preserve your vision. Word for word, exactly what I did. It's a hell of a chin. Yeah. This is what happens when you fire your editors to preserve your vision. Yeah. 100%. Editors usually know what they're editing. <laughs> wow, look at the, the, the tug in that in the um, Raven's mouth. Oh, oh, I see what you mean, Sentinel. Yes. Um, gosh, I hope. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, okay. These games are a trip. I couldn't stand anymore. I grabbed the goo cube and made a play for it. So he's got the cube at least, okay. So we don't have to go looking for the cube. Oh. Careful, don't swallow it. So, so that's the problem. If you're ever going to change me back, oh yes, and uh, save the world as well, uh -huh. I need you to reverse the flow of the dimension gate and send Big D back to his own evil domain. The Big D. On the case. Oh, there's the cube. Oh, and you're on, you're in me now. Oh, hello. A gibbet with some <laughs> poor soul in it. Uh, okay. Hi. What are you doing here? What's a half dead guy like you doing in a cage like this? You says a, you says a, you says a chin butt. Yeah. Do you read a lot of Oscar Wilde? <laughs> It may hurt you to know this, but you are not a canary. <laughs> That's what Grandma always used to say. Uh-huh. Okay. No, nice knowing you, mate. Let's see if this now... This is the old crossroads. Cool. Uh, now that we have the soul cube... Sorry, the uh, <laughs> ghoul cube. If we can... Ooh, one of Big D's imps. I have it now. Well, I guess we can hold one, one demon. 
Do we use the demons to solve puzzles, I wonder? Yeah. Let's go to the other, because I know where another one is. There was one in the other bin in here. Oh, right. Yeah, one of Big D's imps. Oh. Now I have two imps. Okay, so we're just rounding them up and stuffing them in a cube. Works for me. Yeah. Oh, actually, that's a th that's a thought I had. Cause like, what's it called? The in the village near the pub. If we go closer to the pub, it looks like we've got to get closer for the animations to run. But that looks like an imp. I can't look at it. That looks like... Oh, that's the dart player. So, let's see if we go in here. Okay, well, they don't care about me, these people at the table now. What about you guys? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I can talk to you now. No. I will let me. Have a drink. Uh, do you have any tea? I would do, but not for the likes of you. Does your oh. policy of blanket discrimination make you a viable force in today's market? Ah, good. My friend doesn't like you. Now, what do you want to do about that, huh? Be he wants to be liked by a mouldy, rat-faced, butt-kissing, anus breath in here. Woo! Yeah, coming in here, is all yeah, yeah. Yeah. What exactly did he say there, Roy? Your impolite reaction to my appraisal of your I'm back, what have I missed? Well, we picked up some imps. Sensitivity. Okay. Like, well, I'm in that club, or...? And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we bought them drinks and they came with us. Yeah. The Lord <laughs> is my shepherd. You should stay close to me, my child. Mm -hmm. I thought he said something Holy about cabbage. Holy fuck, what...? Where'd the priest go? He's over there. <laughs> You punch me again, I'm gonna kill you. Great! Oh! your funny ears all in just pitting now. Yeah, pitting shots. Yeah. Oh! Okay. Alright, alright. I think we'll. To, I'd react that way too, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, we won't play much more of this. I just wanna. Let's, um, you know, have a look walk around in another scene to see if uh, we can find anything more that we can do. And then I have one more game for us to, to have a little look at. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Is today's theme. Um, okay, so we've got the woods and the swamp. This to a castle. Oh, hello. I have taken possession of a car. A steering wheel, not surprisingly. Heard quite the burn. Get in car, get out of car, okay. The cemetery, I just want to see if we, we can go into the, uh, the building. That sheep is looking at me weird. Especially if I put this head on it. <laughs> it's Brad and Janet's car, yes. To my house and it's oh warm. my god, Dave! You weren't around for that, were you? We played the Rocky Horror Picture Show game. The gate to my house and it's warm. The 90s one. Oh god, how was that? Um, I mean, it was shit, but <laughs> it was shit, but it was entertaining shit, I guess. And... Yeah, and but to like, because it had a timer on it, and to uh to extend the timer, you had to walk into some bouncing lips. And uh, you'd have an orgasm. Ah, uh, you do, yep. 
as you do. Yeah. And the best part is if um, if if Riff Raff or Magento or, or Columbia have. Oh, we died. Okay. Perfect timing. Let's <laughs> let's get out of this. Game. <laughs> this has promise, but yeah. No, really yeah. It does have promise. Yeah, but if one of them has taken your clothes, the um, the orgasm animation is different. Yes. Ah. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's impressive. Oh, the things they focused on. Yes. But yeah, none of the game makes a lick of sense. There's a nuclear reactor reactor in the basement for reasons. Um, there's yeah, there's a lot to there's a lot to take in. Yeah. 